or else I'd have to play in uh, halls that were, I mean, I don't want to play in arenas. Uh, I don't think that that's the best uh, size hall for, for me as a musician. Uh, in fact, the smaller the place, the more, uh, the more musical I feel I can get. Uh, when I went out with, um, with Art Garfunkel and, uh, after the concert in the park and we played in stadiums, uh, I really felt that uh, it was more about the symbolic return of, uh, like, for just one more curtain call rather than putting on the perfect Simon and Garfunkel show. And in fact, I mean, this was uh, one of the sources of uh, irritation between us because Art wanted to... Uh, play in 3,000 seaters, and we were playing in 50,000 seat stadiums, uh, and, and, and at Wembley, uh, and, uh, and as you might know if you were at Wembley, it's, uh, that was not the ideal place for us musically, but on the other hand, uh, the event uh, was just that, it was, a, it was an event that I thought had uh, overtones that were greater than just the music. I really have yet to experience the feeling of I've got to keep doing this. I don't have to keep doing anything, really. I mean, contractually, I owe, I owe some more records, but I haven't. I really haven't lost my interest in writing songs or making records. I've been interested in the subject since I was 13 years old, and I mean, here's this 30 years later. I'm still interested in the subject, so. As long as I'm following something that's interesting to me, then I'm having a good time. And as long as I'm having a good time, then I'll want to uh, keep, uh, keep recording.